This episode is sponsored by Google Play with the help of A3 Still Alive, the dark fantasy open world RPG. From the love child of Tim Burton and Pee Wee Herman. When we made Evil Dead, I wanted to make, do something that... <laughs> <laughs> who's produced so much cool stuff throughout his career, but a whole generation only knows him for directing the Spider-Man memes. Pizza time. Comes the mind-blowing trilogy that was making you laugh and scream at the same time, long before he cast Topher Grace as Venom. I like being bad. It makes me happy. The Evil Dead franchise. Strap in for three excellent flicks that barely hang together as an actual trilogy. Evil Dead 1, where some dumb teens drive all the way from Michigan to the worst little Airbnb in Tennessee. Evil Dead 2, a half remake, half parody of the first one with a ratio of horror to comedy swapped. And Evil Dead 3, which is called Army of Darkness, but a direct sequel to Evil Dead 2 and is really more like a Medieval Times Three Stooges movie. They're all great in their own ways, though. Consistency is for nerds. Bruce Campbell stars as this handsome piece of ash. He's got a chin like a clenched fist and a literally handy chainsaw. Our hero will begin the trilogy as one of the more dumb and cowardly leading men in film history. Hit her! Hit it! Unable to overpower even the nearest shelving unit until he goes through so much head trauma over the course of two films. <laughs> that he turns into Duke Nukem. Come get some. Groovy. Give me some sugar, baby. Hail to the king, baby. Hail to the king, baby. Evil will rise when Ash stumbles across an ancient goth kid's sketchbook and accidentally plays a cursed podcast to summon the Deadites. They're part zombie, <coughs> part vampire, <coughs> and all sass. We're gonna get you. You're not gonna leave me here, are you? Are you Ash? <laughs> I'm bad Ash. And you're good at it. As these demons resort to the one trick in their evil book, possess one of your loved ones. <laughs> then briefly pretend to be back to normal. Unlock this chain and let me out. Cheryl? Please don't hurt me. I love you. <gasps> How does he keep falling for this? Alloys and compositions and things with molecular structures in the... All right, moron. Thrill at films that are as light on substance as they are heavy with style as Sam Raimi turns on no clip mode for his camera, running it through the woods. Like a lot. Smashing it through windows. Getting extremely close up. And doing basically whatever he thought looked fun and cool at the time, from the awesome gearing up montages. Groovy. To the constant decapitations. <laughs> to having a tree sexually assault a woman. Twice. Uh, moving on. So enjoy these classic drive-in movies passed down through the generations of cool older siblings and weird uncles that proves you didn't need huge budgets and movie stars to make an awesome film. In fact, you didn't even really have to know how to make a film to make an awesome film. Focus. Just your old car, your high school buddy, and enough red-dyed corn syrup to flood the eastern seaboard. Man, I cannot wait to see him do this to Benedict Cumberbatch. Stupid, clean-faced, handsome man. Starring 
Ash Killam, Deuce Campbell, Burn After Reading, I Am Groot, Thing, Lord Mullet of Bowl Cut, Blandolf, This is Halloween, This is Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. But Bill, these are historical babes. And I'm talking to the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to choke my face. The Deadass Chainsaw Massacre. The scariest part of these films is when Bruce Campbell comes this close to getting canceled. It's an N-word. It's definitely an N-word. It's definitely an N-word. Careful! This episode is sponsored by Google Play. Get A3 still alive and discover more on Google Play now. Uh, just a drink. A martini. Shaken, not stirred. Give me some sugar, baby. Oh no, not the bees! Not the bees! Oh, oh they're in my eyes! My eyes! Oh!